So I recently made a video detailing my experiences in driving for Postmates, a popular food delivery company. In this video, I wanna give some updates on that video, share some new things that have happened, as well as give you guys some advice on how you can increase your income and increase your tips if you're starting out with Postmates. So first of all, if you haven't seen that original video, go watch that video and then come back here because everything I say is gonna make a lot more sense. So in California, there's this thing called Prop 22, which was actually passed pretty recently. This basically means that app-based drivers are considered independent contractors and not actual employees of the company. So this applies to companies like Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, Postmates, there's a lot of them out there. And because they're not actual employees, regular state employment laws don't apply. And so with Prop 22, there were some new laws that applies for app-based drivers, which I wanna talk about. So Postmates has a nice little page on Prop 22. And if you scroll to the bottom of this page, by the way, I will leave this in the description below, they have a section called Minimum Earnings Guarantee and Mileage Reimbursement. And they basically say for every earnings period up to 14 calendar days, you'll earn at least 120% of local minimum wage plus 30 cents per mile driven while on active time. So you can cover expenses like gas and maintenance. There's no limit to how much you earn, but if you make less than that guarantee, we'll pay you the difference. So after I had posted that Postmates video, I actually got an email from Postmates saying they're giving me extra money because of this Prop 22 thing. And they gave me an extra $31.34. Now I do want to mention, I did do one extra delivery. Okay, so I did all the deliveries I mentioned in that video plus one other delivery. So that number is probably skewed a bit. You know, I did one more delivery, but still for five deliveries, an extra $31.34 is pretty good. And this extra payment makes it way more appealing to be a driver, specifically in California. For non-California, this doesn't apply, but I do wanna mention that, and I do wanna mention that my earnings were a little bit different. You know, my overall advice in the video is still gonna stand just because a lot of you probably aren't in California, but if you are in California, just know that this is a thing. So at the end of this video, I am going to do an updated calculation uh, for the hourly amount I have earned. So stay tuned for that. The next thing I wanna talk about is maximizing your tips and an update I have about tips. So as I mentioned, I did one other delivery in addition to all the deliveries I talked about in the last video. And in this delivery, I earned $6.68 with a whopping $48.75 tip, which is unbelievable. Now, is this sustainable? Can I continue earning this amount in tips? No, but I still thought it was interesting and I still thought I'd mention it in the video and maybe talk about how you can try maximizing your tips. The first thing is you want to try to deliver more expensive orders. You don't wanna be delivering cupcakes. You want to be delivering big meals because when you go out to eat, you know, a pretty popular rule of thumb is you take the total order amount and you just do 15% of that and you give that in tips. And I would say a similar kind of thing applies for Postmates. If someone's just ordering a cookie, they're not gonna tip you a lot, if at all. But if they're ordering a big meal, they're way more likely to tip you. So if you like to nitpick about what orders you accept, make sure you try to accept orders that are for actual restaurants where the likelihood that they order a large meal is high rather than for small restaurants that would most likely just provide snacks. So there was another thing that I was going to do, but I ended up just completely forgetting about it. And I thought I'd mention it anyways, cause it might give value to someone out there. So I made these index cards. It was, it was about the holiday season when I was delivering Christmas was coming up, New Year's was coming up. And so I made these little index cards uh, where I basically said something like happy holidays or something like that. And the intention was to put all these index cards in the orders. So I would just, you know, I, I would just make like 15 to 20 of them. And then for every delivery, I'll just put one in the order. And you know, who knows, maybe that would result in them tipping them a little bit more. I didn't end up doing it. Maybe I should go at it and, and experiment if this actually does anything, but try it if you want. I thought it was an interesting idea, so I thought I'd mention it. Okay, so now for the updated calculation, including the latest delivery I did, plus all the deliveries I did in the last video, plus all the tips, plus the Prop 22 payment, I earned a total of $136, and I spent about three and a half hours total working. This is not including time I spent waiting for an order or just driving around. This does not include the ride home. This does not include car maintenance or gas or any of that stuff. Okay, uh, this amounts to $38.36 an hour. Now, obviously this is hugely skewed by the tip I got, as well as if you're not in California, that Prop 22 payment was again, quite significant. But anyways, this is the amount I earned and the ballpark hourly estimate. Uh, so, 
I don't know, I just, I thought it was interesting. It's a pretty big amount, um, so there you go. The last video is probably way more likely for a lot of you, and if I were to keep doing this, the hourly amount would probably be significantly closer to the last video, but I thought I'd mention this anyways. All right, so those are some updates. That's some advice and some new information that might that may help some of you on your Postmate endeavors. I'm also thinking about trying some other apps like Grubhub and DoorDash and a bunch of other apps, maybe some other side hustles. So let me know if there's something specific that you'd like me to try in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.